Yeah. I'm out of a job. I got a kid. It's almost Christmas. What am I going to do? I'm going to wake up every day and be pretty upset about it. Disbelief and anger from the employees of Wing Shack. They just disappeared without a trace. Why? I mean, seriously, like... No morals, no heart. The employees of Wing Shack were told they were going to be closed on Sunday because the floors were going to be redone. But come Monday, Wing Shack was still closed. So the manager got the landlord to let them in. What they found inside was startling. All these walls had beer signs and uh And this all this all was you left what on Saturday, I guess? Saturday. So you're here on Saturday, all this stuff was up. Yeah. <laughs> And all of it was. You came a, back Monday, and it was all it gone. It was gone. The inside had been gutted. It's gone. Everything's gone. The food's gone. All the cooking equipment's gone. And owner Scott Taylor was nowhere to be found. Like, oh my God! I can't believe they did this. No warning. No nothing. They just left. Above Wing Shack is an apartment where Taylor's business associate Steve Brady lived, emptied out as well. I tried his cell number and the number had been changed. I tried the co-owner's number and his number had been changed. Manager Tracy Graves told KY3 that employees hadn't been paid since November 11th. People that have their own rent, their own bills, they have kids to feed and now I don't even know if we're going to be able to get unemployment. <laughs> William Miller said his paycheck was more than just about bills. You know, that was the paycheck to pay for my son's Christmas. As former waiters, bartenders, and cooks scour the mess left behind. They had two big coolers here. All of our fryers were there. They can only wonder why. If you could talk to Scott or Steve, you know, what would you say? I'd just ask them why. Why couldn't they give us at least a little bit of notice? We could have been looking for other jobs and, and what's and next hopefully find something quick in order to get my son a christmas definitely wasn't on the top of my christmas list